My idea of heaven, I think heaven is a place where um, everything you didn't achieve here comes true. So uh, I need to think there is a place where you cannot fail, where you can achieve everything you ever wanted. But of course it's um, difficult because some people may say, yeah, okay, then, then I'll kill myself and then I'll be in a place where nothing bad happens, but it's not that easy, I think. <laughs> this is a very good and complicated question. My immediate answer would be, I don't know. <laughs> because even the scripture says that human eye doesn't know what it is and human mind cannot even express the beauty of what God prepared for us when we enter this presence of God. After a person dies, then the soul goes to paradise. According to Jewish tradition, every Jewish soul will ultimately end up in paradise. Because the Talmud says there's no person on earth that is not filled and replete with good deeds, like the seeds of a pomegranate. Well, I think there's an animating entity. Uh, I think I've read where they believe that they've measured bodies before and after death and there's a minuscule amount that seems to evaporate and um, I think there's enough written through all of history that there's something that animates us that we call soul or being or consciousness and that evaporates with death. Um, I believe now that there's a heaven on earth rather than up in the sky. And I, I know, I've never believed in reincarnation, so I don't think that we go to an afterlife. I think this is it. So it's be here now, live here now, and have the fullest experience of this existence that you possibly can. In the Hindu religions, the heaven is the, you met the heaven in your life from your actions, your thoughts. If your actions or thoughts is good in your human life, then you're definitely happy after your death. The death is the only changing of the body, not our soul is never dead, always alive. After death, our soul is alive, it's only changing the body from this body to other body. If our work is good, we go first uh, the heaven. Heaven means there is uh, happiness, there is peaceful atmosphere, no disturbances. There is the, um, a lot of God and Goddess is present there. It's very beautiful, I'd say, and uh, it makes us joyful. Uh, of course, what comes to my mind is uh, Père Thomas Philippe, a theologian, a brother of the founder of community of St. John, brother Marie Dominique Philippe. He was saying that uh, you kind of carry a basket of good works and works of love through our life. And then when we die, we, we bring this basket to the King of Love. So we meet with love itself, which is God and Christ, so that death is the highest point of our life. It's it's most beautiful point of our life. I think this changes the perspective, and it's, it it brings something which, yeah, you can call it hope. I'd say it's also strength. This I see it like this: these so-called near-death experiences occur when the brain is starved of oxygen and glucose. Death may occur in different ways, multiple organ failure or maybe an accident. Whatever happens, the blood supply to the brain is certainly affected. And when that happens, the neurons are starved of oxygen and glucose at the same time. And the brain cannot function at the level it has been functioning and therefore the level of cognition goes down. And when it goes down sufficiently, a sort of hallucination uh, starts and that is similar to what happens when you take hallucinating drugs. You start seeing things, you start imagining things, and then if 
something happens to restore blood supply to your brain and uh, things come back to normalcy the neurons uh, have some resilience they can stay without uh, oxygen and glucose for some small amount of time and when they come back to functioning what happens is they uh, you know feel as if they have had a very different experience elsewhere and then they have come back as if they have seen heaven and they have come back it's spatial dimension which has been lost now in a modern astronomy has deprived heaven of a physical location it's now purely metaphysical but until the invention of the telescope heaven had a spatial location which was up there as opposed to hell which was down there so space had a moral quality you traveled up you approached goodness you traveled down you contacted evil so the i i i the, the prime uh characteristic i think of heaven in the ancient world was then it was a place of peace and enlightenment and salvation and so if you think about those three words it was a place of peace because it was up beyond the fixed stars so um in the celestial kingdom is everyone everyone who is in any degree of glory has a physical body a perfected physical body that is because of Christ's sacrifice because of his atonement and his death and resurrection every person who is born on this earth will be resurrected with a physical body that is perfected um in the celestial kingdom are you get to be with your family for forever your whoever you're married to whatever children you have family is the most important element in um in the LDS church and so for us we have um i my parents were married in a temple and that means that they were married for time and all eternity and i as one of their children am bound to them sealed to them for all eternity another concept is that the soul is not only coming down for the soul in essence the soul is coming down for the body in other words to refine the body and to refine the world because ultimately in the messianic era God will come down to the world and live together with the human kind of the world. And therefore every time we do a good deed, we are creating another brick for God's home in which God can physically come down and dwell together with the rest of the world.